Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. You know if I'm wearing my lemon dress, we are going to be making something lemon today, and we are going to be making a lemon pavlova. I'm actually going to be making them bite-sized because we're going to a cocktail party, so I, we're going to make them bite-sized just for fun. So I have six egg whites here that I've started to whip, and they are whipped into like kind of a foamy stage, but I didn't want you to have to listen to this thing so long, so... I just started to whip our egg whites. So I will keep going here. We're gonna add the sugar. I have about one and a half cups of the super fine baking sugar, which is this kind, super fine. Now, if you don't have it, no problem. I've made it with uh, regular. My dress is stuck there. So I'm gonna start adding our sugar here just a little bit at, at a time and let it get incorporated, let the sugar melt down while I continue finishing these egg whites. We want them stiff peaks for our pavlova. This is an easy dessert that you probably already have all the ingredients for because basically egg whites and sugar and it's gluten free. So you can make a quick and easy gluten free um, dessert. So I'm just going to add this sugar a little bit at a time so it gets dissolved while we're making stiff peaks here. If you've never made a meringue or a pavlova, um, which is basically what this is, we're making meringue, the egg whites will get real glossy as the sugar incorporates. It gets real shiny. So we're just whipping away here. What would happen if you pour it in all at once? Well, you want the sugar to dissolve, so you don't want your meringue to be grainy. So that's why I pour it in a little bit at a time, so the sugar has a chance to incorporate and dissolve. So that's why I'm putting in a little bit of time. You can see as we get the sugar in there, we're getting more body in our egg whites, which I'll show you here in a second, because they are coming together. One of my signature recipes that everyone requests I bring is I make a chocolate pavlova that is just killer, and it's here on the channel. So good, and again, easy, gluten-free, and delish. But this one today is going to be lemon. So we are going for it with, with the lemon here. So we are getting there. Our uh, egg whites are starting to pull away from the beater a little bit, which you can't see, but I'm just telling you as you're whipping yours so you know kind of what to expect, what's going to happen. As your egg whites get glossy, they're going to get stiffer and stiffer, which is what we want. So they are getting nice and glossy. so easy and so good and it's impressive. Everyone loves it when you show up to the table with this. And really pretty inexpensive too for, for a party dessert. Because if you've been to a bakery lately and see what a nice cake costs, this is a bargain. And again, easy and quick. So we've got the egg whites almost where I, where I want them here on the stiffness factor. Super turbo power. <laughs> okay. So let me show you our consistency here. There, look. We got quiet. So we have, they're still a little bit runny, but look, they're pretty stiff uh, as far as what, how we're going to need them to be. So now to this, get the egg whites off our beer here. I'm actually going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch and some lemon zest. So I've got our cornstarch here. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch on top, two teaspoons. I'm almost out of cornstarch. One. Now you could sift this if you really wanted to, but I think it's going to be fine. Two. And then I'm going to add the zest of a lemon, which I have more than one in my microplane here because I'm going to use some for garnish. So I'm going to use 
a hefty amount here. I'm going to sprinkle it in of our lemon zest that I'm eyeballing about one lemon's worth of zest. And uh, then I'm going to put two teaspoons here of lemon juice, fresh juice from those lemons that I just um, took the zest off. You know, I'm going to do three. Feeling crazy. I'm going to do three. I've got lemon zest on my hands that I want in my bowl. And then we are going to fold this together. Move this out of the way. So here we have our lemon zest, a little cornstarch, the lemon juice, and we're going to fold away here. Okay. Oh my goodness. This smells delicious. I mean, seriously, lemony goodness. Oh, yum. I think I'm going to put one more pinch of lemon zest in here just because I can. And uh, I want to make sure our pavlova is super lemony. So let me stir that little bit in. And then you'll see what I've got going on here. Okay, so here we go. This is our batter. So I'm going to take our batter here. And I'm going to put it into a Ziploc bag that I actually have a piping tip in the corner, but you don't actually have to get that fancy. You can just cut the tip off the bag because I'm going to make these individual size. Now, normally I don't. I make them make this as one uh, meringue, which in that case, you just scoop this onto your cookie sheet in about a 10 inch circle, pat it down, make sure it's even so it cooks even, and then boom, you cook it for an hour or so. And I'm gonna, but today I'm living on the wild side, I'm gonna make these appetizer portion for a cocktail party we're going to tonight. And so I thought, let's make these. I had six egg whites left from a whole bunch of key lime pie I made the other day, slabs of it for key lime bars for a baby shower. And you know what six egg whites are good for? Pavlova. So let me rinse off my hands a little bit here. And I will jump in. We were going to pipe these. Let's see how this works out live. <laughs> okay, so I've got my batter in my bag here. And I'm going to, you see I put a tip in here. Ah, that already got a little, uh-oh, here. Here we go. Look out. Getting crazy. Okay. So I'm going to start piping these into like, oh, like a two biter. So I'm going to make these because they will puff up when, when they bake. But I want to try and make them as equal to the same size as I can so they bake at the same rate. So here we go. Little two biters. These are going to be cute for a cocktail party. I know that our hostess, oh, uh-oh, she warned me. I had, a, I had a leak. I didn't close my bag. Uh-oh, I sprung a leak. That's what I do. That's what happens when I talk and cook, huh? Got to pay attention. Okay, we're going to have a blob of that one. Right, we'll just keep going here. So you get the idea. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have plenty of these. Plenty. I'm going to have enough for... Yum. I'm going to have enough for... I could also make a big one too, because look how much I have left, which I will make more. Um, so there we are. We're going to get... Well, we will bake these, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to garnish these. So I have about a half a cup here of lemon curd. Now, go for it if you want to make your own. I just bought some at Trader Joe's. But it tends to be too sweet for me. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. I'm going to add about the same, maybe half, maybe a little less than a teaspoon of fresh lemon zest and mix that in. And plus, I just wanted to mix it up to soften it up somewhat. So it is ready. When we get our meringues cooked, I am going to, oh, see, just the smell of the fresh lemon and the fresh zest in that zips it up. My mouth is watering. 
Um, so once we get these baked, I will come back and we are going to top these with a little bit of lemon curd, a little bit of fresh whipped cream. I'm going to use a raspberry on top as a garnish and then a little bit of some toasted almonds. And that is going to be our little delicious two biter appetizer cocktail party dessert. Plus it's going to look just beautiful and frankly, really easy. So let me pop these in the oven and I'll be right back. Okay. Look at our little puffs of heaven here. These are out of the oven. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. And they are delicious. So you can see they're just lightly brown. They are like air. They're so yummy. So let's finish our little puffs of heaven here. So I have my lemon curd here and I'm just going to fix one up here. Let's see. Let's do the, this. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon curd and then I have my fresh whipped cream that I made. I'm going to cut a little hole in this bag, which I just had my scissors in my hand, which what did I do with them? Oh, I put them away. I'm going to cut a little corner of our bag here just to try and have this not be such a mess, but we'll see. And so our fresh whipped cream, There's my hole, there it is. There we go. A little bit of whipped cream on top. Oh my gosh. Yum. And then we're going to put a raspberry. And then I'm going to put a couple of almonds here. These are toasted as our little garnish on the side. And oh my gosh, look at that little bite sized morsel of cocktail dessert. I mean, come on, how delicious does that look? Yummy. So you know what I have to do? Try it. Mmm. Wow. That is heaven. These are perfect for any kind of a brunch. I'm taking these to a cocktail party and you can see that this batch of, of batter made, made two cookie sheets of this size. And then I used the rest of the batter and it made four large size ones that I will use for another occasion. But these little ones, they are just delicious. So I will finish assembling these and we are off to a cocktail party. So highly recommend if you love French macarons, these, this recipe is for you and gluten-free. So delicious, delicious. Let me know if you try it. Thanks for watching.